scenario where someone's been stabbed and we're asking them to try and find out where the person's been stabbed. I need help, please. My name's uh, Michael Carver. I'm the lead nurse for violence reduction at uh, Bart's Health and NHS Trust. This is a Saturday night at the Royal London Hospital. Royal London lady. A young man who's been stabbed in the leg. Um, so we're just going to put an advanced trauma call out to get the team here. Someone's attacked you in the street. You're stripped off by an ambulance. You're thrown in the back of a vehicle and you're brought here to the Royal London Hospital. And you're met by eight strangers in the bay you've never met before who are kind of searching you top to toe. They're looking for more stab injuries. Across the board, what we often forget about is the human being at the other side of that and what someone might be going through. Obviously, a lot of the time, these are young adults, but we get 15-year-olds in here with these injuries. So I've been working in the emergency department for about on and off eight years. And one thing that's never really changed has been the volume of appallingly young people coming through with really terrible injuries. I've got vivid memories of cutting school uniforms off people with uh, stab wounds. And as a senior nurse, sometimes it's my job to uh, visit the families in that area and give them the bad news. Resource charge nurse speaking. So a nurse typically might be expected to work within a hospital, but actually my work goes outside the hospital. We're making our way to a local community centre where we're going to be meeting a group of young people. Um, we've got a scenario where someone's been stabbed and we're asking them to try and find out where the person's been stabbed. If you see someone injured, stop, make sure it's safe. Call for help, ask someone to call 999 and ask them to stay on the phone. Need help, please. See if the injured person can talk. If they can talk, they are awake and breathing. If they can't talk, put your ear next to the mouth and check for breathing. If they are not breathing, start chest compressions. Look for bleeding. If they are bleeding, apply pressure to the wound. Apply pressure as hard as you can to stop the bleeding. Use a towel or any other piece of clothing to help. Keep applying pressure until the ambulance arrives. If it was before, I'd obviously, like, I wouldn't, I'd just call the ambulance straight away, I wouldn't help them or do anything. But now we know what to do that step by step to help the person have the best chance of surviving. Basically, like a year ago, um, I got into a little incident. Um, uh, I was bleeding out. And then after, a lot of the people around me helped. And then it just opened my eyes that it's really dangerous around on the streets. Let's get us an Uber, eh? Hello, mate. Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all right. Well, Waterforce needs more resources, and we recognise that, and that's part of why we're going today to, to see what we can do to, to implement something here. Who's the Violence Reduction Partnership meeting? To put it into perspective, um, at the Royal London Hospital, uh, we see on average around 700 knife and gunshot injuries per year. Around two thirds of them are aged under the age of 25. The youngest that we had as an attendance was 13. Thank Thanks so much for having me. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, I think they're really keen to get some partnership work going on with Whips Cross Hospital. Um, and this is just the start of a conversation. I'm, I'm really optimistic that there's going to be a lot more work going on in the near future. All change. All change. If you hark back to the works of Charles Dickens and Oliver Twist, you look at the criminality, the violence, the deprivation, the sadness that goes on within a book that's 150 years old. And the really stark thing that I see every day is actually these kinds of worlds still exist. I think when I started, a knife was like the end point and it's now they're, they're properly trying to kill each other. So the, the type of wounds we're seeing are deeper and more savage. And uh, Michael Carver. Um, How are you? Good to see you again. Those under the age of 18 are being hurt during the day. It's not an evening event. 
So we can actually pinpoint areas of harm which are often the route between the school and home. We're in an environment that has lots of problems and not that many resources, so how do we use the resource we've got better? How do we work together? But also, are there new jobs we need to make? Are there new roles we need to make that can make less work for everyone? And also do a better job.